Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. This video is going to be an introduction to soldering on Branson Woodwind instruments. There are two types of solder joints used. Uh, one is soft solder and the other, other is silver solder. Uh, the soft solder is 60% tin and 40% lead. And there are lots of different types of solder but this one works the best. And the reason why is because it goes from a solid and then when you heat it up it turns into a liquid around 450 degrees uh, which is low temperature and then it hardens right away. There's not a lot of plastic state. It's just either solid or liquid and there's not a lot in between. So that works well for soldering on instruments. Because this flows at 450 degrees, that's usually about the temperature that lacquer starts to burn. So if you're very careful, you can solder without burning any lacquer at all. If you need a stronger solder joint, the silver solder works very well. Uh, this is 35% silver and 65% tin. This gives you a really strong bond. The only problem is it, you have to heat it up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit in order for it to flow. You cannot use silver solder anywhere near an instrument. You have to take the part off and clean it up before you can solder on it. To get the soft solder to flow, you need flux. And the best flux for band instruments is liquid acid solder. And um, I put it in a smaller container. Um, I've used a valve oil container, but I did write flux on it it's because you don't want to get this mixed up with valve oil. For silver solder, you need a different kind of flux because the acid flux will burn right off of it because it gets up to such a high temperature. So there's boron flux that you can use for that. It's a white paste and it will withstand the temperature that you have to get it up to for the silver solder. To solder safely, always use safety glasses because you never know when a chunk of solder is going to come flying up and hit you. And it does happen a lot of times. Sometimes I have to pick solder off my lens of my safety glasses. So make sure you wear safety glasses. Make sure you solder over a fireproof surface and make sure that you have a fire extinguisher close at hand. Thankfully I've never needed to use a fire extinguisher but it's a good idea to have one there anyway. Also, soldering can make some fumes, so it's a good idea to solder in a well-ventilated area. The best torch for soldering is an acetylene torch, and I have the acetylene tank tucked under my bench right there. Um, you, and you can get these at a gas supply store. If you're going to do a lot of soldering, this is a very good idea to have. If you just need to do a few solder joints, you can use a butane micro torch. If you need to, you can get a torch from the hardware store. I don't recommend it, but you can use it if you need to for just one or two solder joints. Soldering iron does not work for brass or woodwind instruments. It works great for electronics, but not for band instruments. I'll show you how this torch works. You just turn the knob, and then I use my micro torch to light it. And then you get a nice flame with a nice tip. It's a small flame, but it's big enough to heat up an instrument quickly, and it's small enough so that you don't have a lot of excess heat and you don't burn a lot of lacquer. Micro torch, you just push the button and then you get the flame. And these can work too. The only downside on the micro torch is that the fuel doesn't last long. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be refilling it every uh, probably three or four solder joints. The vast majority of solder joints that you're going to need to do are soft solder joints. You're not going to need to do too many silver solder joints. The reason why is it holds up so well that usually the metal breaks first before the solder joint. For an example of which solder joints are hard soldered and which ones are soft soldered, on a flute the soft solder joints are right here and then the ribs are soft soldered onto the body of the flute and then this ring right here is soft soldered. Most of the solder joints on the keys are silver soldered. There's a silver solder joint here and here and then the spring cradle is silver soldered on. This is silver soldered here and here and then the posts are silver soldered onto the ribs. On a trumpet the soft solder joints would be on the braces and also on the tubing. Also the finger hook is soft soldered on. For the silver solder the knuckles are silver soldered onto the casings and also the casings are silver soldered to each other. For the braces the center part is silver soldered onto the two flanges there and there and then the flanges are soft soldered onto the trumpet. A lot of people can be int intimidated by soldering. Uh, don't be intimidated, you can do it. I suggest though that before you start working on your instrument or a customer's instrument that you practice first. Uh, get a junk instrument and try some soldering on it. When you're proficient at it and you can do it without burning very much lacquer or none at all, then start working on other people's instruments or your own. Uh, also keep in mind that a lot of people, even if they're experienced at soldering, 
Uh, they can have some solder joints that don't turn out too good for some reason. So if you mess up on one or two, don't worry about it. Just keep trying, you'll get better. Also, solder can be cleaned up, so if you make a mess, it usually can be cleaned up without too much problem. This video is an introduction to soldering, so if you want to take it farther and actually start soldering, then please watch my other videos on soft soldering and hard soldering, and the links are in the description below. I hope this video has been helpful, and please feel free to subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.